thanks for watching. And you may ask, why is the Fourier transform so important? Why do all the cool kids talk about it? Well, it's all because of the Fourier transform miracle. And all it says is, the Fourier transform turns derivatives into algebra. So miracle, see more important than theorem, namely, if you take the Fourier transform of f prime, all it gives you is minus to so some number times the Fourier transform of f. So once again, the Fourier transform turns derivatives into algebra. And in particular, we will see it will turn partial differential equations, which are very hard, into algebra equations, which are much, much easier. And for this, let me just remind you what definition I used. Your f hat of kappa is just the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f of x, di kappa x dx. So we take a weight average of f with those squiggly functions, ei kappa x. And by the way, this is nothing new. We have seen this with the Laplace transform. So compare this, the Laplace miracle, which was L of y prime is, I believe, SL of y minus y of zero, which once again was the thing that helped us simplify differential equations. And now, let's show this. It's just based on an integration by parts. Okay, so why is that true? Well, let's take the Fourier transform of f prime. Well, by definition, this is the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f prime of x, ei, ei kappa x dx. Well, we have the product of two functions, one that can be integrated easily, the other one being differentiated easily. So let's just use an integration by parts. So this is like dv and this is u. And so if you integrate by parts, so v u, so v becomes f of x, u becomes uh, EI kappa x from x from minus infinity to x equals infinity and then minus integral from minus infinity to infinity of f of x and then the derivative of that so i kappa EI kappa x dx now remember our main assumption in those problems we assume f goes to zero very fast as x goes to plus minus infinity. So this is sometimes called the Schwarz function, a function that goes to zero very, very fast you know, at plus minus infinity. So since this goes to zero and this is what's called bounded, we can assume that the whole thing goes to zero. That's first of all. And moreover, this i kappa just comes out because it doesn't depend on x. And what you're left with is simply minus i kappa times the integral here, e i kappa x dx. And the cool thing is you kind of have a fractal phenomenon going on here because this integral is none other than f hat. So in the end, we have minus i kappa f hat. And that is all she wrote, because the Fourier transform of f prime is minus i kappa times the Fourier transform of f. And in the next couple of videos, we will see how to use this to solve partial differential equations. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.